Hello everyone, welcome to Grid Online Dairy. This is Kavya. In this video, I'm going to explain the SAS Certified Specialist question number 23. And let me enter into the question. The 23 question says that create a new temporary data set that uses input.staff and store the results in work.staff reports. Select observations where waste category is not equal to it and format the variable DOB as DDMM by Y10 dot and create a new variable named rice whose value is waste rate multiplied by 3% and determine the grand total of rice for the entire data set. And the questions are, for observation 7, what is the value of DOB? And the question 2 is, for observation 16, what is the value of rice? And the question 3 is, what is the grand total of rice for the entire data set? The question actually explains is, there was a data set named input.staff and we have to create a new temporary data set, which is uh, in the work library, the data set name is staff report. And we have to select observations where waste category is not equals to H and format the variable, the DOB into DDMMYY format. And we have to create a new variable rise and the rise is multiplied by waste rate by 3%. And also we have to determine the grand total of rise for the entire data set. For the only variable rise, we have to know the grand total. For this, let me open the SAS software. As we know that we have to create the library named input by using the libname statement. Libname input and the path to data and paste it here and the semicolon and run the path. And blog says that the input was successfully assigned. So the library input was created and we want the data set name staff. So let me open the staff data set and here is it and open it. We can see the variables has ID, name, DOB, waste category, waste rate and the bonus. Totally we have the six variables. From these six variables, the question says that the question actually asked is we want to write we want to select the observation where rate is not equals to H. So first of all, let me write the data statement so that we can get the line wise and the data. By using the data statement, the data. And let me create the data set name as a staff. And we will take the input from the input dot staff. And, and the first one in the question asked is, Select observations where waste category is not equals to H. So we can write the waste category means the variable waste category. We have S and H. So in that we don't want the variable and that we don't want the H. So we can write as where waste category not equals to H. And the second one is format the variable DOB as DDMMYY10. So by using the format statement, we can use that. That is, we can write that format the DOB as DDMMYY10. And the third one is create a new variable name would rise whose value is waste rate multiplied by 3%. So we have to create a new variable by using the assignment statement. The new variable is rise is equals to rise is, he says that new variable rise whose value is waste rate multiplied by 3%. So we have to multiply the waste rate and the waste rate here it is and copy it. Waste rate, which is multiplied by 3%. 3% means 3 by 100. We can write it down 0 0.03. And this is the third one. And the fourth statement is, determine the grand total of rise for the entire data set. The grand total, we can use the sum statement. And this one I will tell you later. 
and for this up, up to now we can write this the run statement and let me run it when we run it check the log and log says that 20 observations and 7 variables so as we see the original data set we can see that 26 observations and 6 variables but we have created a new variable named rise so we have that 7 variables and 20 observations because base rate is not equals to h so we had 20 observations let me open the work library as we created in the work library the data set named as staff and let me open it we can see the new variable rise is created and also we have the data set whose base category is only s that is which is not equals to h and we also the dov variable we also turn it into the dd and then yy 10 dot format as we can see it is in the mm dd mm yy 10 dot format and the question also asks the grand total of rise for the entire data set for this let me write the proc statement because the prop print prop print data is equals to star and we want the total rise of and we want the total rise for the entire data set so some rise and the run statement when we see here we can see it is the total rise for the entire data set that is 2024.05 is the total rise and the questions asked are for observation 7 what is the value of dop and when we see in the work library that is the work dot staff for observation 7 what is the answer for dop and it was the answer for dop and 06 that is the first question answer is 0906 and the second question is let me read the question for observation 16 what is the value of riser and for observation 16 what is the value of riser it is this and this is the answer for the rise value and the second question answer is 121.3755 and the third question answer is let me read it what is the grand total of rise for the entire data set as we have used it in the plot print statement we can see that 2024 0.05 is the grand total for the third question and these three answers are the answers for these three questions if you have any doubts in this video comment in the comment box and please subscribe to the great online training channel and like the video if you're liking the video and share the video to your friends and colleagues who need the SAS certification and if you want to learn the SAS Certified Specialist Based Programming, you can log in into the great online training channel and also log in into the link that was given below in the comment box. And thank you. Thank you for watching.